Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. There are quite a few alcohol stoves out there on the market and we have reviewed many here on the channel. Now one of the issues you can run into, especially when you have these double walled capillary action stoves, is that it can take a little while to prime. And when you're priming your stove, you are wasting fuel because you can't get your pot up there. Now mainly I'm talking about capillary stoves that you use as its own pot stand, but it applies to pretty much anyone out there. Well today I'm gonna show you a super cheap product that will make any alcohol stove you own prime faster. Stay tuned, let's check it out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at several stoves and see how long it takes them to prime. We're gonna look at two different DIY stoves that I've had a little bit of trouble in the past getting them to prime in a decent amount of time. We're also gonna look at two other stoves that are a little bit less expensive, kind of cheap versions, very cheap versions. One that's aluminum, one that's titanium. And then lastly, we're gonna take a look at two very common stoves, both the Trangia and the Evernew Titanium, which already prime pretty quickly, but we're gonna see if we can make them prime any faster. So let's see how long they take to prime. All right, we'll start. This is a stove that I made out of a Michelob Ultra can. I have a video on how to do this. Let's see how long it takes for it to prime up. There we go guys, one minute, 18 seconds to prime up the Michelob Ultra can. This is a DIY stove that I made out of a $1 Walmart can. Now this thing was very popular here on YouTube. A lot of people have made it, I think, but it does take a while to prime. Let's measure it out. Starting to try to prime here. There we go, one minute, 32 seconds for a full prime on this very powerful stove, but not the most efficient. Okay, this is a very inexpensive stove made by Lixada. You can see here on the front, it's just a classic Chinese stove. It has no uh, wicking in between. This is made out of aluminum. It doesn't even come with a simmer ring. This is just a basic aluminum. You can get this on AliExpress for like $2. It's starting to try to prime, but it takes a little while to really kick in. All right, we're gonna call that primed right there. One minute, eight seconds. Okay, this is a titanium stove by a company called Boundless Voyage. It's basically a knockoff on the Evernew Titanium. Uh, there's a little bit of residual stuff on the side. I tried to add a wick to it and it didn't really work very well, but this tends to burn very well, but it takes forever to prime. Let's see how long. It may look like it's primed, but the back is not primed at all. But it is getting there. And there it is, fully primed, two minutes, seven seconds. It will build up now, but it is fully primed. Two minutes, seven seconds. All right, this is the Evernew Titanium Stove. It does have wicking inside, so it should prime a lot faster. There it is, fully primed, 40 seconds. 40 seconds for full prime. All right, lastly, the tried and true Trangia. We'll see how long it takes. Shouldn't take too long. Good. There we go, 15 seconds. We'll call it 15 seconds for a bloom on the Trangia. So what can we do to make these stoves prime faster and be more efficient? Well, it's all about heat. What you need is to get the fuel inside of the stove hot enough to start to vaporize once it vaporizes, it comes out of the fuel jets. Larger stoves and those without wicking material in between the two layers of the stove have a harder time priming because it takes longer for the fuel to get hot and to vaporize. So the answer is really pretty simple, a priming tray. This is the Prime Light Primer Pan from Trail Designs. It is made out of aluminum. You can see how simple the design is. The bottom has some little feet on it to keep it up off the ground. The top has this lip. 
This lip is where the alcohol will sit inside of so that it won't spill out and cause any problems with fires, etc. It is made of aluminum. It weighs seven grams or 0.2 ounces and costs $2.99. Now you can use anything as a priming tray, but this one I think is worth the $3. It's super lightweight and its design makes it very safe to use like I talked about. So the question is, how well does this $3 priming pan work? Well, let's try these stoves out again, but this time using our priming pan. Okay, so we're back with the DIY stove that we made out of the Michelob Ultra can. I'm gonna light the alcohol inside. I have about probably five or six drops of alcohol inside of the priming pan. And we will see it just sits right on top. Gonna have to be ready here. And there you go, nine seconds, we'll call it 10 seconds for a prime. Next, DIY Walmart stove. Just as a reminder, it took one minute, 32 seconds to get this to bloom before. There it is, 22 seconds for a full bloom. 23 seconds, we'll call it 23 seconds. Next is the aluminum Lixada. As a reminder, it took a minute, eight seconds. I think a minute six, a minute eight. I can't read my writing good. Got a little on my table. All right, we're gonna call it boom. Let me look at that. You can remember how long it took for that to happen last time. 11 seconds. All right, this is the actual Evernew Titanium. Was very fast initially, pretty pretty fast, at least 40 seconds. Let's see what we get. There it is. It's coming out the sides, it's hard to see, but it is fully coming out. And there we go, guys, 15 seconds. I kind of screwed up there, but you can see 15 seconds for a full blue. Okay, next is our Boundless Voyager, basically the knockoff Evernew Titanium. It took two minutes, seven seconds last time. And there we go, 15 seconds, 15 and a half seconds. Lastly, we've got the Trangia. Now this was already fast, 15 seconds. Can it go any faster? I really don't know. Let's find out. I'm gonna keep my hand here. There we go, 10 seconds. So it was five seconds faster. 10 seconds on the transient. So how well does this priming work? I'm just gonna tell you guys how much faster you can prime it. Looking at the Coors Light can, which again is a DIY stove. I'll make sure I leave a link down below if you guys wanna make one. I was able to prime it 12 times faster than without the priming tray. Basically a minute, 20 seconds down to 10 seconds. The Walmart stove is a very popular stove. Like I said, I've had a lot of video views, a lot of comments, people have made that. It's made from a $1 aluminum water bottle from Walmart. Try saying that 10 times fast. And it went from a minute, 32 seconds down to 23 seconds, which is essentially six times faster. This is a great stove. It's got a very large footprint and it's great for larger pots. The problem was it would take too long to bloom and it was inefficient, but this really helps it a great deal. The Luxada is a great little aluminum stove. Like I said, you can buy it on AliExpress, free shipping for like two or three bucks, as long as you're willing to wait about three or four weeks for it to get to your house. It went from a minute eight seconds down to 11 seconds, which is essentially a 10 times faster priming time. The Boundless Voyage, again, because it is basically a copycat of the Evernew Titanium, and I have an entire video, again, look down below if you want an entire video about the differences between these two stoves besides the obvious difference, which is the price. The Evernew has some wicking inside and the other one does not, and it would cause a lot of problems. It would take over two minutes to prime. In fact, this time it took two minutes, seven seconds. But amazingly, with our little $3 priming plate, we got it 15 seconds. That is 14 times faster for priming. That's pretty impressive. Even more common stoves like the Evernew, it took 40 seconds to prime today, a little longer than usual. Now I will say that my shop in here is fairly cold. I have the air conditioner on, so they're starting at about 68, 66, 68 degrees. So they were a little bit cold and that may slow down the priming. So it was 40 seconds. 
We cut that down to 15 seconds with the priming plate. That's two and a half times faster even on the Everney. Last you look at the Trangia on its own, it already primes very fast at 15 seconds. Nothing wrong with that at all. But we were able to drop it down to 10 seconds, which is one and a half times faster even with the Trangia. Not sure if it's worth carrying this for the Trangia, but for all the other ones, it definitely is in my opinion. So looking at the four stoves that are not the nicer stoves, the ones that do not have the wicks inside of them, we decreased the priming time by 10 and one half times 10 and a half times faster with a three dollar priming plate it is amazing how much faster these stoves prime with a seven gram 0.2 ounce three dollar priming plate awesome awesome piece of kit from trail designs i think pretty much any alcohol stove will probably prime faster if it gets hotter faster it'll prime faster now there are some stoves like the cat can stove or some of the mini bowl design stoves they just prime right away. There's no problem whatsoever. But all the other ones will benefit from this priming plate. What I'm saying is not all stoves need to prime. You know what I mean. I don't want anybody to assume that I'm saying every single alcohol stove primes faster. If it doesn't need to prime, it won't prime faster. Make sure you check out the Trail Designs website. I'll leave a link down below as well. They make awesome products, all kinds of cool stuff. The Caldera Cone, which I did a video on recently. And I have a couple of other videos on that stove system coming out later, just different ways to use it. I have an entire playlist on stoves. I don't know if you guys have checked it out. Make sure you do down below. I'll leave a link as well as a link here at the end that you can just click on the screen if you want to check out that playlist. Do me a favor guys, if you like the video, really, really, really helps if you hit that like button. So hit that little thumbs up. Like I said, it really helps. If you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. If you wanna be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit the ding dong bell. You'll be the first to know when I release new videos. As always guys, I'm having a lot of fun with these stoves. It's sorta kinda wanting, not really, but maybe it will at some point, cool down here in Louisiana. I have a lot of cool stuff planned for this fall here on the channel, a couple of trips couple of trips just to make videos out in the woods, which would be a lot of fun, and then maybe a couple of overnighters as well. Hope you guys are having a good summer. As always, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.